Okay, so welcome everybody. This will be uh, not uh, really a let's play, but let's fix something uh, because I just realized uh, a mod was causing problems, and I think this is a problem that uh, may happen. Um, not a rare problem with mods, especially old mods. And it's not easy to to understand what the problem is and how to fix it. So I will just try and do it. Uh, basically, uh, I was playing this quest in one of my playthrough and I am here trying to free this slave. And I have another mod which is giving me these two options. Uh, I could use a spell or a key, uh, find the key and return. And this is good because this is an option added by the mod. The problem is I have also the standard proper vanilla key to free the slaves and there is no option to use it. And this is probably a mod conflict, but it's not really easy to find what the conflict, uh, what the conflicting mod is uh, when you have a long loading list. So uh, how can you do this? Uh, well, uh, in my knowledge, the best and probably the one tool you can use for this is called uh, Test Free Lint. Uh, which is uh, one of the tools included in the source version of Task Free Common. So, uh, I think I will just show you where to find it. Let me switch one thing here. Mm. Okay, so. Uh, we can look for test free lint, uh, and there's a vo oh, this is a link from my site, uh, a page where I, I talk about it, uh, especially about these tools and other tools. So this page has some nice information about how to use this tool. And this test free lint tool basically is able to uh, look for conflicts and risky things in your file. Some of these things are not so harmful, but uh, like in this case, uh, when there are conflicts in dialogue, sometimes these conflicts are causing problems. Uh, you can really uh, feel in game like this one, being uh, not no more able to free uh, slaves, even if you have the proper key. So, uh, to to catch this problem with the mod, we can use this tool. Uh, and first, we must must find a way to to have it installed. Our uh, problem is this thing uh, actually is only released in certain version, so you need to have PAL installed in your system. So. Maybe it's something a little difficult uh, for um, the majority of user people, but I think a model should be able to set up uh, a PAL install in their system. So I'm assuming you are able to do it, and this is an example. Let me check. No, it's not this one. Let me look for it. Oh, that's free lint. 
Now here is an example command you can use to use the tool. You call your pal. This is the task free lint script. And this is the option you can use. Give the name of the mod you are checking. And then you output uh, the result to um, a text file. And we are interested in uh, about the error messages, the warning messages talking about uh, dialogue conflicts. Oh, here it is. Another thing. Okay, so uh, this is what we are looking for. In dialogue information, uh, modified, uh, changing the dialogue filters uh, in the original dialogue line. So, for instance, we have a dialogue line which is looking for a player having the proper key to free the slaves and one, another mode is changing the filtering of that precise line instead of making a copy of the line, adding it and changing it. So, this is causing problem because the original quest in Vanilla Morrowind where you can free the slave is not working anymore. So we we go back to our game and try getting some more information. But we we don't have much because dialogue changes are not. Uh, you cannot get information about the mode changing dialogue easily. So if we try this thing on. The NPC, we just get a reference to the original Morrowind file. We, we have not much information, so we can only guess what mod could be doing this. And I know more or less what the mod is. In this case, it's a mod called uh, Mod House. And I will show you. Uh, what happens running the test free lint on that mod? And I'm doing this uh, from inside my mesh source version, which is uh, just calling this command from uh, the mesh. Uh, user interface to make things faster because this is one of the tools I use often when adding mods or trying to fix mods and I have it integrated in in mesh but the gist of it you are calling this command using that's free lint so first I will show you where you can find that's free lint because you need the source code and you can find it here, for instance, in the MLOX uh, utility source task free lint. And this is the file. You can just uh, name it task free lint uh, .pl or what you want, but you can find it here. Anyway, I will show you how I call it from uh, from mesh. So I'm looking for, uh, for the mod, which is called uh, mo original mod is called um, mod house. Uh, let me show you. 
uh, here. I use my model list to show you what the mod is. I think it's here. Okay, the mod house. You can view the review. Uh, this week's last on the past of the week is the Moat House by, by Sam uh, Darker and Guy. Uh, it's it's a good you, mod, uh, but one of the, uh, God it has. Of Lijad, and he gives you a quest to clear out an old Imperial fortification just uh, north of town. It has this big problem for me, uh, which I realized just recently. Mod is changing dial of filter condition for some vanilla game slaves instead of correctly duplicating and refiltering the dialogue lines such making impossible to free some of the vanilla slaves for instance in this cell using the proper key and so i just added this note about the mod which is a nice mod but you know old modes oftentimes uh, are, are more buggy because uh, the more you you know the less arrows you you do and uh, how can we fix this thing well first we must find the problem and using test for lint test for lint I'm calling it on the mod and as I have a long <laughs> loading list, as you as you know, I have merged the mod uh, with other modes. So, in my case, uh, the mod is called. Uh, let me see. Oh, here it is. Carobal plus uh, Ascadian Rose Cottage plus mod house which is the the mod having the problem and another mod which is called apothecaries demis and all these mods are grouped together because more or less they are also conflicting uh, on the cells and the landscape region they are they have changes to the same landscape and region so i have grouped them together and matched them together to solve this conflict but now I just found this little problem using uh, the same pal that's free lint command on these selected files I, I use this interface from mesh to make things easier for me when I repeat these things several times and in theory we should have uh, this output from the tool and here it is my output from task free lint and we have uh, scripts not checking menu mode but this usually is not a real problem we have Duplicated records, which is not a real problem because these are textures, so it's uh, landscape textures, pretty normal to have them duplicated. Other records which are changed, overridden, land records, and so on. And here are the real dialogue problems. So, what is happening is the mode is changing this original dialogue line information for the go free and instead of making a copy of this information like of this line and changing the copy is modifying directly the original line so instead of having uh, a check for the key in your in player inventory like in the original Moroni, we have another dialogue line, line extra for the mod, specifically for the mod. So we we want to fix this thing. How can we do this? It's not so easy. 
uh, doing that from from the construction set uh, dialog window. Uh, it, I think uh, the best way we can do it is uh, duplicate this uh, this line dialog line. Uh, put uh, the correct new line for the mod in the copy and then mark the original line which we don't want to change uh, with uh, something easy to find like delete me or clean me something like this and then we go to the construction set de detail windows mod detail windows and we clean that original line there so we can uh, we can just discard the, the changes to that original line uh, it's easier to show actually this thing uh, doing this in the construction set than talking about it so I, I will just do do it but as you can see there are several of these potential problems and that's free lint is precious because it can show you these conflicts, this potential conflict and give you the information you need to find the thing in the construction set. Uh, probably you could just try and edit this also in uh, MW edit but uh, I, I prefer to work in the construction set usually because it's still the tool uh, more compatible with the game because it's it's a standard tool anyway so what we will do is use this information here and look for these identifiers in dialogue and try and fix things okay so we open the mod and I think I can just uh, exit here because now we can really test the mod before fixing it and then we open our construction set and load the mod uh, usually I I tell you always better to work on a copy of the mod uh, because you may change things and you never know if your changed mod is reference compatible with the with the previous version uh, in this case I'm already sure that uh, my changes will be reference compatible because I will just touch dialog and this is not changing references so I will edit directly the original mod I want to fix instead of making and working on a copy because I'm already sure that my changes are not touching references, cell references. So I will just edit the original mod I want to fix, which is this one having the morph house merged inside. So sec as active file and load the mod as usual. And here we are. So we need to check dialog. And also to find the proper, uh, I can look for the topic which is go free. You see a lot of changes here. So to be sure I get the right line, I will enlarge this column which is showing me the identifier for the dialog line and to be sure I do the right changes I look at my task free lint report and so here is the first first problem we get these identifiers 
we copy it and look for it using the text find text options here in the construction set so I paste uh, the identifiers in the search text field and then click the button and here it is so uh, sadly I, I don't have a way to click and jump on the proper line but I have this hint you have the key will you let me go free uh, and this is usually enough to find uh, you can look for the text here and look for the proper identifier here and you should be able to find it so for instance I'm looking for an identifier starting with this number and it should not be hard to find the proper one but you see uh, when there are a lot of changes uh, the, the changes are starting with the star S sign here as first character so we look for this 27 starting with 27 and it may be you have the key you have the key here it is 27 and ending with 54 and here it is the line we must change uh, another way to make make things a little easier could be to use also uh, MW edit load the same mode for instance and uh, where it is here it is I sort by date before loading the mod so I'm sure the proper loading order is uh, used and then I do the search here for the same identifier because uh, I can get a little more information using MW edit uh, because I have these two changes Uh, what I'm looking for is uh, more information about the filtering used that's a little long and sometimes it, it it's not really working well because there is a lot of dialogue to filter and sometimes MW edit will crash but what I'm looking for is a way to find the NPC which is using this dialogue filter uh, to to be able to find things e in an easier way in the construction set but as you can see it, it doesn't work well so another way you could do this is uh, take a note about uh, uh, NPC you are talking to in game and look at him but for now I think I will just stop doing this thing and just look for the line here anyway the, here is the line the original morrowing line which has been changed changing the filtering or the mortal cell and the mod key slaves instead of changing a copy of this line for the mod so what we want to do is do the proper things that the original modder didn't do uh, so we we must just copy this line 
and the copy is giving a different identifier here that will hopefully not conflict with other modes. Uh, this is still another problem because in reality this thing happens uh, it, not often but it may happen. Anyway, we have our new proper uh, line that the mod will will use with proper filtering for the mod in the mod house dungeon cell and using this mod key slaves. But we still have the original morrowing line changed and we don't want this thing changed. We want to restore exactly the uh, the original morrowing line. Uh, we want to forget this change. And how can we do this easily from uh, the morrowing detail uh, mod options? Uh, an easy way to do this is just change uh, the text here in the original uh, line so we can easily find in the detail window uh, what we want to, to ignore. So I will just uh, change this text and put something like uh, clean me and this way I should be able to to find easily this line when I need to clean the thing and now we did it for this uh, dialogue entry and we need to do exactly the same thing for the other uh, lines we have in our test free lint report. So I will just look for this one. You see, it, it's always the same topic go free. So it's not so hard to find. Always look for something starting with this number. like here not this thank you ever so much uh, it's a little uh, boring but you see not really so difficult because you have uh, several lines but they are not not so many because we have filtered for the gopher topic anyway here is the proper info identifier we are looking for which is in this case this new one so starting with this and ending with this, so it's easy to verify it's a proper one. And we do exactly the same thing. We right click the line, copy. So we have the correct duplicate here with the new identifier. And then we change the text in the original one so it will be easy to find the line we want to ignore in the mod detail and we go on doing the exact same thing uh, so here so let's look this is the same so no need uh, here is a new one so go free look for this uh, 61 you have the key you have the key this 
61. Uh, yes, it's the right one. And we we do the same things. Pay attention always to work in the proper info identifier. And we copy. Here is the new one. Notice that the new one, when you do a copy, it's always upper in the order. And it's already uh, selected. So it really, it's hard to to mistake, do mistakes, but people oftentimes uh, do these mistakes because they, uh, instead of doing one dialogue entry, one at a time, uh, maybe they try to do a lot of them, or because they simply don't realize they are doing things uh, the wrong way and causing a compatibility problem. Anyway, we just did our new copy and we just select the original line and do the usual clean me change so we can find the line when we next want to really do the cleaning and so we go on and here is another one Oh, this one is different because it's no more um, in the go free topic, but instead it's in greeting 7. So let's see if we need to change this. I think so because uh, it's the same problem with different filters and so on. So we will change this one also. So we do this, we copy and pass, paste in the search and look for it. And as you can see, it's in greeting Simon, so we need to change our tab, no more topics, but greetings 7. And we look for do you have the key to this process? And this is. Uh, longer but not really so much so we look for this identifier as usual 87 here it is and we use the usual copy then we go to the original line and change here the text as usual, like for instance, uh, clean me. Then we go back to our task for lint report and we have uh, the same identifiers here. Yes, and so I think we have another couple here. Let's check this. Um, I think it's the same. Greeting 7. Uh, uh, uh. We must always look for lines starting with the star, so it's easier. As you can see, here it is. We copy, then clean me. And we should have the last one. Copy. Paste in the search window. Find text. Always greeting 7 with the same text. So let's look for it. That's the right one. So copy. Go back to the original lines. Clean me. 
and we are done for the first part of our fixing. We press OK, OK, and then we can um, save the mod. And the second part is uh, loading the mod, but this time we work in the details window of the construction set. And we look for our uh, Climi string in the des descriptions. Uh, we can sort by info if we want. But usually if you do something like this with a string which is easily found like that clean me, you can just sort by description and it should be easy to find things we want to, to clean. Uh, so we look for alphabetical order. Maybe they are at the top because they are uppercase. Or maybe it's easier to sort by uh, information. Let me check. I will sort by the type of record, which is info. It should be. Oh, here they are. So, uh, probably the easier way to find uh, them is to sort by the description, description first. So, it's sort in alphabetical order, and then you click here and sort by info. So, uh, you sort by the type of information. But anyway, the gist of it is. We use this uh, string, so it's easy to select things you want to uh, discard as changes from your mod. And to do this, we can select all these things. It's usual Windows uh, selections in list, so you can just keep the shift key pressed and click so to have them all selected or keep the control key and press once at a time but uh, final things we want to do is select all and press the uh, delete key on your keyboard this way we will mark as ignored all these dialog entries so they will just be ignored while loading the mod in the construction set and this is the way you use the safer way uh, you can clean things directly from the construction set so click yes and as you can see now there is uh, i ignored symbol in the this column and this means that when we close and load the mod in the construction set, these changes to the original Morrowind uh, uh, master will be ignored. And so the mod will be cleaned from these problems, these changes to the original Morrowind quest. So, if for instance we try and open the same uh, go free, we should not have any more these problems. So, 
to make things faster, I will try and filter for one of the name of the slaves, or the stand on our own slaves, which was in that cell, uh, which I remo remember like some something smart. It was an Argonian called Smart Snake. And he was not walking because the dialogue was uh, giving problems. As you can see, now the line, the original line, is, st is here. The original key is used here. And so it should work correctly. So we uh, now the mod is clean. It should be okay. We must still remember to save it uh, to be sure our changes are, are applied to the mod. And now that we change the mod, as usual, we uh, clean it both using test tool and uh, test free command clean. So first I use uh, I usually use test tool. It's not a rule. You can first use test free command if you want uh, and then use test tool. But uh, as test tool is faster because it's a compiled program compared to test free command which is uh, A script so it's usually a little slower doing things I first prefer to use the faster tool which is a test tool so clean ESP ESM execute I go to options and I will just keep my usual two op options on and the rest off because I know what I'm doing and Execute again, select a mod, open, and we are cleaning uh, little things. And we can look at the test tool log file for details if you want. So, opening this file, you can see all the test tool reasoning, like this cell is empty, but there is some land changes, so I don't touch it. All these things is a duplicate of ambient definition in the cell, so this is things that uh, the construction set is saving, but they are not really needed, and so on. And you can review the small changes that test tool is doing. And this is the one change that test tool did. It, it delete, deleted an in information here in dialog. And this is not really necessary, but as this uh, link is can be resolved by the game engine on at real time, this is some information which is not needed uh, in the mod. Uh, if the mod is is working and doing dialogue properly, like in this case now that we have fixed it, uh, this has. Uh, absolutely no problem when loading in game. Uh, people which say test tool is breaking dialogue modes and companion modes while doing this kind of cleaning, uh, usually the re real reason is because there's some part of the dialogue in that mod which is not done properly, not using copies of. Uh, of the original lines but things like this and so it breaks because it's not well done so this is a way to to 
actually find the modes which need attention. Anyway, uh, this is a change which I think I'm okay with, so no problems at all. But it's always good to have the log so you can check the changes and decide if you want to keep them or go back to the, the previous version. Anyway, now we do the same cleaning using uh, task free command and I have task free command uh, called with the same with the same uh, interface from my mesh source version so I can just right click the mod and instead of using the file uh, Perl task free lint added this I will use the task free command line to call task free command clean which is like uh, calling it from the uh, command line there are version of mesh uh, like the Jacobi version the maker version uh, which are compiled in an executable files which have the same test free command command uh, available from another menu options but the gist of it everything is calling an external tool that's free comma with the clean option and so I'm calling this on this mod cleaning and I can see in the console what that's free comma is doing here and basically it changes just some uh, water height information which is not really needed some duplicate information but nothing related to dialogue so our dialogue was already very clean anyway now that I, I have th this automatic cleaning done using test tool um, test free common I'm reasonably sure that 99% of what I could clean by hand is now uh, cleaned in uh, automatic and uh, always repeatable way that's the reason why I really suggest you do your cleaning using these two automatic tools every time you edit a mod using the construction set because this way you are sure that your different version of your mod are always compatible always uh, as as similar to to the previous version as possible because you do cleaning automatically and you you are not doing errors human errors while doing this forgetting cleaning things and so on uh, anyway we we are done we clean the mod uh, mesh with the lock times options on uh, made us sure we did not change the loading order because uh, mesh is uh, making this uh, the mode timestamp constant so uh, even we if we s resave them all from the construction set we have no problem changing the loading order uh, we just changed the dialogue so we are sure the mod is reference compatible so no problem while loading a previous save and so on and so the last step is just to try and reload that save game and see if we actually have been able to fix the problem so I will just do it oh I can start for a windows from here hopefully uh, I don't usually start borrowing from mesh because I think it's always better to start 
the main game for instance from the desktop uh, if you have uh, a very long and big loading list like the one I'm using uh, because uh, maybe probably the less programs here in the background and the better but in this case I just want to load that save and see if uh, if things are fixed and it, it should be because um, we just touch the dialogue and when verifying the dialogue usually you can really see if changes are, are working uh, right from the dialogue dialogue uh, window in the construction set and it's a long loading because my loading list as you know is very long uh, nearly nearly uh, full and a lot of the mods are merged so even if I may have no more than 253 uh, oh, mods I think uh, some of them are merged mods so in reality mods are a lot more And so it, it takes minutes to load. I know I'm uh, a little... I can say I'm a, a sort of testbed for modding compatibility because using a lot of mods uh, is a way to, to really uh, make incompatibilities uh, more easy to find because the more the mods and the more probability to have to have some conflicts but at least we can see some nice splash screens Oh, finally, we can try and load our low moraine underground cell and the usual message. One of the mods has changed it, we know. And so, crossing fingers, we should be able to finally load our save and free our slaves from the original Morrowind quest in the Lomaran stronghold so just to repeat the concept this is not yet uh, going on with my usual let's play uh, this is a loading save from uh, another character uh, more more advanced which I use to play but not to stream with but as I found this problem uh, I think it's a very a very nice example of this kind of problems and how to solve them so this is not uh, a stream which will go to the let's play but probably uh, to to the modding um, modding list in my in my youtube channel if i'm able to actually load this save and make it work I think my character here is about level 20. Okay, so let's check 
our uh, keys. Oh, I have found all three available key to uh, to free Lomoran slaves because I wasn't sure uh, the first one was not the right one, but as you can see, they are all the same. So, crossing fingers, we talk with Small Snake and ask him to go free. You have the key, will you let me go free? As you can see, it seems things are working. Uh, finally, as in Vanilla Morrowind. So, we have the proper key, we can free the slave using the key. And then, we, after this, probably, we could have other mods kick in in a compatible way. For instance, this message is from one of my mods, which is, in short, starting when you free a slave, uh, a global script is started, which is waiting for you to talk with, uh, to be nearby the other slaves and automatically freeing them without you to have to repeat the same dialogue line and using the same key to free the other. So, when this one greet me, let me, it should be uh, free if the mod is working, but it seems <laughs> this time is not. Uh, so, blessed we are. Okay, but it works when I talk with him. Uh, just keeping a couple of dialogue lines. And in theory, we should be able now to do the same thing. There it is again. With the other slaves. And as you can see, let's talk. Feel free. May you walk on warm sand. Okay, so here is the slave Rosa. Warm day to you. So, uh, to cut the long story short. We did fix that. May you walk on warm sand. Mod which was making impossible to free the slaves. May you walk on warm sand. I think. Oh, another one. Go for it. Blessed we are. So basically, my mod is working uh, directly with. Blessed we are. Uh, nearby slaves uh, for the other slaves which are not not near you just keep a couple of conversa conversations click but anyway uh, the original mod is now fixed uh, it is possible to free the slaves and I think that's all for now and I hope this information may be useful uh, for people having the same problem or similar problems and well, see you next time.